कृष्णकांत You can hypnotize me with a bond You're the thief to steal away my heart I wish I could trust you But your crooked smile Dances on a serpent For your lover's eyes be merciful to me Cause I'm so long waiting Be merciful to me Cause you are all I know You were there before I knew your name You could hear me calling out in pain I wish I could trust you, but your crooked smile Dances on a serpent for your lover's eyes Be merciful to me, cause I'm so long waiting Be merciful to me, cause you all I know Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai I'm sorry. Um, tomorrow we would like to invite all the devotees to come to the Harinam festival in Kassel. We will have four buses that can accommodate 200 devotees. We will be leaving here outside between 9.30 and 9.45 in the morning and be back for lunch with Sadam. Any instruments you may have, madrangas, cartels, and so on, please bring with you. Uh, another thing we've noticed is that not all the bodhis have paid their festival fees. We would like to remind you to do that as soon as possible. Also, there's an observation we made that those devotees who are occupying a house, and only part of the house, have also let other devotees in who are occupying rooms they have not rented. This is, this is really not acceptable. Kindly refrain from doing this. And also, those rooms have already been rented out to others who have come at a later time, and they are now without a room. So this will have to be corrected. Kindly do so. Two more items. The return trips to home on Saturday <coughs> are being arranged for us now, and we'd like to ask all devotees to register with Tilak Raj Prabhu. Tilak Raj, would you please stand up? Not here. He's always outside here on the book stand. 
and he's taking notes who's traveling where and when and so on. Please everyone register with him who has not come here with their own car. And the last item is, during Gurudev's class and during the program here, absolutely no children playing in the back and disturbing the situation. And the parents, please take responsibility for your children. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Oh, and please turn your cell phones off. One last announcement by Jagadish Prabhu. Hare Krishna. For all the devotees who are traveling on Saturday via Frankfurt, I can make a special offer. If they don't have direct connection flight, uh, we have a very lovely boat on the river next to the airport, which is a hotel. And if I can collect some enough uh, group of people, we can uh, stay there very cheap. They will serve us also one breakfast and uh, one uh, meal I can serve in my house. I have to have this information up to tomorrow after lunchtime, up to 2 two, three o'clock. Thank you very much. You can contact me for this. Thank you very much, Hare Krishna. Agyana Timiram Dhasya Gyanan Jana Salakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Tasmai Se Guru Vena Vancha Kalpataru Vyasya Kripa Sindhu Vyai Vasa Patitanam Pavanadhyu Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namo Mahapadannaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Pishena Yang Pradrajanta Manu Petam Apeta Kritam Dvaipayano Virahaka Tarayajuhava Putre Titanmaya Tayatar Vobhinedu Tang Sarabhu Tarayam Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, Najivam, Itayavina, Iti Big Radhe, Tangai Mam Charanam Kiki. My millions of Dandat Pranam in the lotus feet of my Parmarakhatam Guru Pat Padma. Nitya Lila Pravishtam Vishnu Pasis Madhvakti Pragyan Kiso Goswami Maharaj. And same, millions of Dandra Pranam in the lotus feet of my Siksha Guru, Om Vishnu Pasis Madhvakti Vedam Swami Maharaj. <coughs> now, Shukdev Goswami continue to speak. Sweet pastimes of Krishna. Krishna Lila is divided into three parts Balya Lila, Pavanda Lila, Kishor Lila. Even in Kishor Lila, Baya Sandhi, Vishikti Kishor, Pradhu Kishor. So many divisions. Krishna is one, but him changes his mode, more beautiful, more beautiful. At the time of Bayasandhi, means Bal, between Balle and Pongo, and Pauganda and Kiso, oh, very beautiful. But Krishna, even young, no mustok or dadi, nothing. When he became of 125 years age, even not. Ramchandra even in his whole life like 11,000 years, nothing. Very beautiful, like young. Now, <coughs> After uh, Dambandha Lila, especially Jamalavyan Bhanjan, 
પોતાના સકટાસુ તેના પર સો મેની ડેમન્સ કે સો લવ એ કોન્સિલ એ મીટિંગ વોઝ ડન ઇન ધી ગાઈડન્સશીપ ઓફ પ્રેસિડેન્ટશીપ ઓફ ઉપાનંદ ધી એલ્ડર બ્રોધર ઓફ નંદ મહારાજ ઇટ વોઝ વેરી વેરી ઇન્ટેલિજન્ટ ઓલ ઇ યુઝ ટુ ગીવ સો મચ ઓનર હિઝ ફાધર પર્જન્ટ વોન્ટેડ ટુ ગીવ ધી કિંગડમ ટુ ઉપાનંદ બટ હી રિફ્યુઝ એન્ડ ટોલ my middle son the middle brother brother nand is qualified more than me so please give him i will be like mantri like minister minister advisor advisor he was very generous and gentle he told in the council of gops all gops we see that so many demons are coming and krishna goes in the mouth of death but by the mercy of narayan he comes out i think it is better to give up this mahaban very dangerous and we should go to bindavan very very beautiful place jamna is there there is gobardhan hill very beautiful forest all kinds of flowers cuckoo birds oh who could doing peacock so many dancing on gobardhan and here and there and there are so many places that where krishna and baldev can play better we can go there and all the gops they accepted this proposal and tomorrow we will start from here so next day all the cows of braja with cops we cannot imagine how many cows only nand baba has 11 lakhs cows and nine and bishabhan who 11 and all other gops not less than 1 lakh 1 lakh 1 lakh and uncountable gwalba so 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 many cows and so many gops they began to go first and they old person on block cord and mother jashoda rohini baladev devaki and others in sakat sakat means block cord very good is was sitting the dev was sitting there in the laps of their mother and so many gops took their bow arrow and protecting they began to go cows going it seems that oh kalindi and ganga rivers on broken stream they are going and so many gops also they are kul porohi priests priests or other singing what bede stotra stuti of narayan and thus they began and they anyhow crossed the river jamuna with so many they made plantain plantains and so many things and cows oh they crossed the river himself in this way they when they reach in vindavan krishna is telling oh mother who is trembling so much mother told oh they say people tree what people tree 
Oh, who has so much beard, very long, long? Oh, Benny, I am free. What is this? Oh, dear, jumpy. Oh, who is here dancing? Oh, peacocks. Very sweet voice singing. Oh, cockroaches. In this way, Krishna, as if he does does not know and ask a question, our mother answering, and Krishna and while they were speaking in what broken, broken language, thus they reached to chatti kara, chatti kara. In the end of Vrindavan, and they kept their course in a half circle. half circle, and they made a beautiful hosting places, and then began to live there. Now Krishna, at that time, was about. Two and a half, or about three years. Now they began to in in Vrindavan. They began to play here, and they very happy they are. They used to go to Govardhan. Jamuna was flowing nearby. Jamuna, there is a village is too. Now it is far away from Govardhan. But at that time, nearer, very beautiful forests, creepers, flowers. Now one day Krishna told, "I want to go to graze cows." The Sodhamaya told, "No, we have so many servants. You should be in house." I said, "No, mother, I will go and play there." Anyhow, there are two Gopastami. First goes some Gopastami for cows, and second in Nandagaon with cows. These cows, when became bigger in the form of cows, then they did not want to go anywhere without Krishna. So Krishna was bound to take them. And thus he was going. There they used to play so many plays. Sometimes, oh, cops were grazing, and these boys, when monkeys tell so long, long, and they used to take it and they used to jump from here and there. And they become very happy. By Sometimes they used to walk like mere frogs. Sometimes singing as kokil, kokil bird. Sometimes dancing with peacocks. In this way playing, I am very very happy. Once they were playing and. Consented demon. Demons know so many. Maj- they have majestic power. Jo, mystic, mystic powers. They can have any form. So, can you? Varsasu or any Harikatha you should be. Agyana Timran Vrasha, Gyana Jana Salaka, Chakshura Dhamma. Kashmir, 
Haribo Kurve Gore Chandraya Hari Kaya Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhakta Namo Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare So first of all, I offer my pranams to the feet of Gurudev, Vaishnavas, sannyasis, ladies and gentlemen. So when Krishna came from Chatikar, then to Brindavan, then Krishna began the festival of Gopastini. At first, Madhya Sada was saying, Oh, my Krishna, no need to go out in the forest. The sun is very hot. You'll become even more black. Also, there are many thorns on the ground. Please do not go. But then Krishna is saying, Mother, this will not be a punishment. This will be a source of great happiness. Also, we have to follow our Vanasram Dharma. Therefore, by, dharma, by Vana, I am a Gopa. Therefore, this is my duty, to go and serve the cows. Then Madhya Sota said, at least you should take some shoes or some umbrella. And Krishna said, but Mother, the duty of a Gopa is to maintain and protect the cows. Deva, how I can have an umbrella or shoes when the cows do not have a shoes? Therefore, if I will wear shoes, you have to make four sets of shoes for each of the 900,000 cows. And each cow should have an umbrella. Therefore, Krishna went cow grazing. Actually, those young cows, they have the feeling that Krishna is our brother, like Sakiras. The old cow, the bulls, they have feeling we are Krishna's fathers. They were like sannyasis wearing big clothes. They look at Krishna with red eyes, with very with Vatsalya Bhav. Then the young cows, the, the mother cows, have feeling towards Krishna. He is our son because we feed him milk. Therefore, Krishna began that fest, that daily festival of grazing cows. Therefore, those eyes, Aksanvandam Palamidam Napadam Vidama, those eyes which have not seen the beauty of Krishna Balaram as they enter the forest. The Gopi said, those eyes are like the eyes of a peacock feather, completely useless. So comes, he sent his various associates in disguises, amongst them today with the appearance of Vatsasur. So Thakur Bhaktivinoda has said that each of these demons represent one fault. Therefore, Vatsasur represents my main anatta of childishness, and juvenile delinquency, means Anatas committed in complete ignorance with no sense of maturity. Therefore, Bhattasur, he was thinking, how I can kill Krishna Balaram? Therefore, he took the form of a calf. Therefore, outside he is looking like an associate of Krishna and Balaram, but inside he is a demon. Therefore, Thakur Bhaktivinoda, he said, be careful. Etuek Kalichela. Mata Neita Kopin Pala Tilakanak Hate Mala Sahaja Bajana Pochana Mama Tumara Shangir Poil Bala. How the demon will enter into Krishna's pastimes. In Satya Yuga, the demon was uh, the incarnation was Nasringadev, and the demon was Ravan. Uh, sorry. Hirani Kasipu. They were born on different planets. In Dwapyuga, the incarnation is Lord Ram, and the demon is Ravan. 
They're born on the same planet, but different islands. One is living in India, the other is living in Sri Lanka. In Dwapa Yuga, the incarnation is Krishna, and the demon is Kams Maharaj. They're born in the same house. One is downstairs, one is upstairs. Krishna is in the prison, and Kams was born upstairs. And in Kali Yuga, who is the incarnation? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But by the preaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, restricting illicit activities, then Kali had no place to hide. Kali hides in illicit sex, intoxication, meat-eating and gambling. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's preaching was so powerful, Kali was shaking, nowhere to go. Where will he hide? There he took the form of a Vaishnav. Bhakti Nod Thakur said, hard to recognize him. Etuvek Kali Chela means Mata Neda. He has shaved head. mala. On his nose he has Tilak and in his hands chanting beads. Haribol, Haribol, Radhe, Radhe. And the only reason, everyone calls him Mama, Uncle. And the only reason he's associating with you is to catch your wife. Therefore, Bhattaso represents this type of demon in the guise of an associate of Krishna. So Krishna and Balaram went for cow grazing. Then Bhattaso, taking the form of a small calf, he entered in there. So actually he had a very foul, repulsive smell. Therefore, the other calves were trying to avoid him. <laughs> Sometimes we know how that feels. Isn't it? <laughs> Therefore, the other calves were avoiding him. Then Krishna Balaram, Balaram indicated by eyes to Krishna, this is not one calf, this is one demon. Therefore, Krishna, if Krishna says in the Gita, of all cheetahs, I am the biggest cheetah. Therefore Krishna came to Bhattasur, oh my dear little brother, <laughs> then whipped him by the legs, spun him round like a centrifuge, and Bhattasur left his body like that. Thank Hare Krishna. Kams was waiting for that his, he will return back and tell that I have killed Krishna. <laughs> but he never came. Because he went to that look from where anyone does not return. Then he told his another associate, Vakasu, go and see what happened of Kutana and uh, Srinavat, Saktasur, and this, where they went. They have not returned. And then he went there. How you, Vakasu? Agyana Tibrandasya, Gyaranjana Salakaya, Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tasmae, Sri Guru Venama, Pancha Kalpatruvyasya, Krita Sindhu Bevata, Patitanam Pavanepyo, Vaishnavepyo Namonamaha. First of all, <coughs> I offer my humble obeisances unto my beloved Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pada Paramahamsa, Pari Vrakachari, Ashtatata, Sri Srimad Bhakti, Vedanta, Srivanarayi, Dosami Maharas. And to all the Vaishnavas in our Guru Parampara, Tridandi Swamis, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, guests, mothers, sisters and brothers. Please accept my humble obeisances. Srila Guru Dev ordered me to speak on Pakasur. I read today about several demons, but not about this one. So. <laughs> Caught by surprise. I thought if Gurudev asked me about uh, Dena Kasur, that is my favorite. Yeah. But anyhow, Bakasur, with the help of Rastananda Prabhu and Giri Maharaj, I got some information. There was a Bakasur was also sent by Kamsha, brother of Putana. Also, Agasur, brother of Putana. Putana? Yeah. Brother of Putana and Agasur. Bakasur. Yeah. So, Bakasur, he was coming to Vrindavan to catch Krishna. And he was posing himself. Yeah. He was presenting himself as a crane, yeah? 
We see often the, tra the cranes in the water, and some of them, they stand on one leg, yeah? and they seem to be very renounced, yeah? very emotionless, watching on the water, or thinking as if they are, posing as if they are great saintly persons who are completely in trance. But as soon as the baka or the crane sees a fish, he goes and catches it. So this is, according to our acharyas, this represents the false renunciant who poses himself as a great sage, saintly person. But as soon as he sees something that he wants to catch for his enjoyment, he at once catches it. A false, saintly person. So what happened? Krishna came along the bank of Yamuna and Bakasur was standing there with big, big beaks. Yeah. And he opened his beaks and he catch Krishna. And Krishna go inside yeah, and he take the two beaks of the Baka and he bifurcated his beaks at once. Yeah. And Bakasur left his body and attained the uh, liberation. Yeah. After that, the next demon, <laughs> if I the next speaker. So thank you very much for listening and thank you Guru for giving me the opportunity. <laughs> Bakasur is symbol of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, Kapadka. If you are doing bhajan, but you want to cheat Krishna and other devotees, like Anna Bhilasa, for any worldly benefit, doing bhajan, Krishna will know. There are so many other hypocrisy. So Krishna will know. So we should be sincere. Nobody any desire. No mayabad gyan. No smart karma. And thus, by all our senses and modes, we should serve Krishna to please Krishna for the benefit of Krishna. Now, Brother of Putana, younger, and also Bakasu. He said that, Oh, my dear sister and my dear brother, they have been killed. Anyhow, I will kill them both, and then I will take the revenge. So, what became? Magyana Timanandasya Gananjana Savakaya Chakshura Nilitam Jaina Tasmai Shri Gurudevay Namaha Offer my unlimited respectful obeisances unto the lotus feet of my Diksha Guru Nityalila Pravishtam Vishnu Pad Astotara Satashi Shiman Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and unto my Shiksha Guru our beloved Srila Gurudev, and to all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, especially with the idea that you'll go a little bit easy on me. I'm not used to getting up and trying to do this. Um, although it is um, a very special pastime, and one that is actually quite enlivening. Uh, one day, uh, Krishna got up with uh, his fellow cowherd uh, boyfriends, all the gopas. Uh, there were many hundreds of thousands of gopas, gopa friends of Krishna, and they decided to go to the forest. Uh, for some reason that day, Mother Rohini decided to keep Balaram uh, back. Apparently Balaram needed to be bathed. I'm not sure exactly why, but that's what it says. So, 
It was his birthday. Okay, so uh, uh, it does say, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur does say that he reluctantly stayed back. So I think he wanted to be playing with his cowherd boyfriend. So they went off to the forest uh, in a great festive mood. Every day in the spiritual world is a, is a riot of joy and laughter and love. So Krishna went off with his cowherd boyfriends and they packed, uh, their mothers packed wonderful lunches uh, for them. And it's described that when they would go to the forest, they would, uh, uh, although their mothers would decorate them with very beautiful ornaments, uh, bangles and jewels and so many different things, when they got to the forest, that's when the real decorations began. They would take twigs and leaves and feathers and flowers and decorate themselves so that they would look like very wonderful forest princes. And they began to play in the forest, doing different things, chasing the animals, uh, running across the ground, trying to keep up with the shadow of the birds as they flew overhead. Uh, they would imitate the different uh, forest animal sounds that they would hear, the cuckoos and the, uh, and the peacocks. Uh, sometimes they would see the frogs jumping into the ponds and the rivers. And right where the frogs would jump in, they would also jump in to try to uh, jump right into the center of the, of the circle. Um, sometimes, um, uh, in certain parts of the forest, they could call out different sounds. I, I believe one of the sounds was KK. And um, the echo would come back. And when the echo would come back, they would rebuke the echo and give it a hard time. And sometimes they would even say things like, today you're going to die, <clears throat> things like that. So they were having great fun. Uh, they had fantastic lunches. Sometimes when I was a young devotee, we used to think about, especially when you're young and your stomach is always hungry, we would think what Krishna is eating with his cowherd boyfriends. All of these different special preparations made from milk and different sweets. So, uh, sometimes they would do very naughty things like little boys do, and they would steal each other's lunches. And somebody would snatch the lunch and pass it on to another older cowherd boy, and then the other boy would go and give me back my lunch, and they would pass it from one to another until that little boy would start crying, that little cowherd boy would cry, and then they would be merciful and give him back his lunch. So they were having this wonderful type of day uh, in the spirit of Balaram's uh, appearance day. And <clears throat> lo and behold, uh, uh, yet another demon appears on the scene, Bakashura and Bhutana's brother. Very bad guy. <laughs> and he says, you know, what point is there in me living if I don't have any family? My beloved witch sister, she's gone, she's left the world. And my respected Bakashura brother, he's also left the world. So what I think I'm going to do, of course he did this under the uh, auspices of Kungsa. We all know he's the arch enemy. Uh, he decided to go to the forest and he said, I'm going to kill Krishna and Balaram. And I'm going to offer them as sesame in the fire of the remembrance uh, ceremony for my brother and sister. So he's a very nefarious fellow, <clears throat> and like his sister, uh, he can assume uh, different disguises, uh, but apparently, uh, unlike his sister, he could only assume uh, a form that was quite similar to his uh, natural propensity, which was to appear as a giant serpent, a giant snake, a python. And uh, when, when I mean giant, it was very giant. It was eight miles long. <clears throat> so you can just imagine the size of it. And it's described that uh, he looked like a, a mountain range, a very long, uh, curving mountain range. And his mouth uh, touched from the bottom to the top uh, of the sky. And his teeth uh, looked like mountains themselves. And his tongue looked like a highway going into a dark cave. Um, 
And how her boys came upon this uh, visage, and they looked at him, and although there was a very foul, fishy smell coming out of his mouth, <clears throat> they looked at him and they thought, this is great fun. They even thought it was kind of like a center park, like it was like an amusement park. <clears throat> Let's see what this is all about. Let's go in and enjoy. And so they began to actually uh, think, let's enter this dark cave. And uh, there was a moment that uh, passed their minds. So, well, maybe this isn't such a good idea. It could be another, uh, it could be another demon. And then 